there just needs to be a proportionate response to the absurdity and the theater that Republicans give. And the reality is the audacity that these Republicans have to getting ready to shut down the government, also trying to criminalize Joe Biden because Hansa got some, some crack shit, got some, some gun shit going on. Meanwhile, their presidential nominee who don't even have to show up to the base because he's 60 points ahead of everybody else, got 91 charges. It's just all nothing but a farce. And I'm glad that you have people like Congressman Crockett. You also have people like uh, Congresswoman Summer Lee from Pennsylvania who was giving it to him on a whole different so subject, um, really out there bringing it to him. Democrats, this is who you need to be looking at. I'm not saying everybody got to get all black girl magic on you because all y'all ain't black. But you have to bring some fire and some heat and some scorn and some contempt and some mockery and some receipts. If you can get all that together, maybe you can wake some people to hell up and realize what the hell is going on with the Republicans or the inmates running the asylum. And we cannot have that. Hey, Reese, ask and ye shall receive. <laughs> Go to my iPad. Their rent money is coming from. Many of them vote Republican, but I'd bet you not one of them cares more about Hunter Biden's laptop or helping Kevin McCarthy keep his gig as leader or speaker of his dysfunctional caucus than they care about receiving their paycheck and making their ends meet. And so the Republicans on this committee are betting that we'll spend this hearing engaging in partisan bickering over their favorite buzzwords rather than talking about how the MAGA shutdown will crush all of our constituents. To be honest, I don't quite care about a uh, private citizen hunter uh, whom the proper authorities are dealing with or the cable news culture war distractions. I care about the 7 million babies, children, mothers across this country who after Sunday will lose access to food and formula, over 10,000 in my district alone. I care about 300,000 families of 20,000 veterans who after Sunday could face eviction from their homes, rare diseases uh, and cancer patients whose experimental trials will be delayed for months. And I care about our seniors unable to get help with Social Security and Medicare. And make no mistake, their attacks are targeted, both in who's behind them and who are going to be hurt, hurt most. The most marginalized folks bear the brunt of these MAGA Republicans' attacks. Black folks, brown folks, trans folks, poor folks, disabled folks. Keeping that struggle in mind, we've had two hearings on the infant formula shortage on the subcommittee chair, chaired by Congresswoman McClain. Yet, with the 320,000 babies, women, and children in her home state of Michigan about to go hungry due to her party's shutdown, it seems like my Republican colleagues only care about an issue when they can point the finger in another direction, much like what's going on in this embarrassment of a hearing today. Mr. Gearhart, in one of your recent op-eds, and you have repeated it here, you mentioned that a good test for assessing the constitutionality of a governmental action is to switch the names of the political parties and the actors involved. If the outcome is the same, it is a good sign of neutrality. If the outcome is not the same, then there's a good chance that partisanship is the driving force. I think we can safely say that this inquiry would fail that neutrality test. And since I don't have time, I think we can say that we are here, America, in this sham hearing, prioritizing the political needs of the Republican Party, pushing a lie for Donald Trump as you go hungry and you lose your homes. Shameful. At I the request back. of the witness. See, that's what I'm talking about, Reese. If you're going to bring that heat, I'm talk that's what you should do. You should, nah, uh, okay. You should, if you're going to bring that heat, that's what you got to do. I keep trying to say to folk, you cannot play nice with these people. You cannot sit here and dance with these people. Come on, bring it here. You cannot, matter of fact, Reese, this is what Joe Biden should do. Joe, so they call Joe Biden old, Reese. Joe Biden should sit here and get a cane and just do this here. Y'all want to swing? Let's swing. Because <laughs> that's what you have. Throw the, throw the cap in the air and say, Calvary, they want to swing. Let's swing. Yeah. Well, clearly they got the right people on their team right now in these hearings because everybody's about that action. And I do have to say, I do have to add, though, Lauren, um, that Congressman Robert Garcia did do a whole presentation about Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump. And so they definitely are talking about it on the Democratic side in these hearings about the hypocrisy of children being even a part of the question when Jared Kushner got how many billions of dollars from the Saudis or whatever the situation may be. But the reality is, to your point, Roland, 
I mean, I love what 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 Congresswoman Lee did there, uh, Summer Lee, which is bring it back to the receipts. The Republicans have nothing but distractions. We saw nothing but distractions on that debate stage last night. They have nothing but distractions with these hearings because the reality is, uh, once again, when Republicans get control of any part of the government, the government does not function properly. And more so, Kevin McCarthy is the weakest, sorriest leader in a string of sorry-ass Republican leaders, mind you, who cannot control his caucus. He had a deal that was negotiated with President Biden back in May, and he can't get his caucus on board. And so I'm glad that um, in the midst of dragging these Republicans, the witnesses, the sham-ass case about impeachment, they are still bringing it back to the fact that the Republicans are trying to harm our country with another pointless shutdown just two days away now.